Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is June 24th, and the title of our devotional is For Our Own Good, written by Carolyn K. Carlstrom. The Bible verse is found in Jeremiah 24, verse 5. I acknowledge those who are carried away captive from Judah, whom I have sent out of this place for their own good into the land of the Chaldeans. Carolyn writes, I seem to be caught up in a flood of misfortune, none of which I was able to do much about. There were issues on the job, relationship difficulties, a couple of health scares, losses of loved ones, and suffering on the parts of some of those nearest and dearest to me. I felt as if I might be going to drown. And you felt that way too. You may feel that way at this very moment. Do you think Daniel was pleased about his frightful plight? He must surely have feared he would not survive his misfortune, taken at a very young age, right out of his home, and transported in shackles to a hostile foreign country, where he was emasculated and enslaved. He must have felt that the earth had dropped away beneath his feet. I suspect he very much felt as if he might drown. But... Daniel was sent to Babylon by the Lord himself for his own good and presumably the good of his fellow Israelites and even the country in which he found himself. Subsequent events bore out the success of Daniel's life in Babylon and his positive impact on those around him, even the entire nation. God had tremendous plans for Daniel and because of his cooperation and total dependence on him, God was able to realize them in and through that young man's life. God has similar fantastic plans for you and me. He positions us in certain places. He allows particular circumstances. Sometimes he chooses not to prevent some things from happening that we wish he would. He allows some things to happen we wish he wouldn't. And there is always a reason, ever a purpose. His decisions are based on our own good and or the good of others. A hundred percent of the time. We can be certain that this reality will ultimately bear out. God loves us. It couldn't be otherwise. Carolyn K. Carlstrom is a Bible worker for her home church in the Pacific Northwest of the United States of America. She gives Bible studies, teaches, and preaches. She is also a freelance writer whose articles have appeared in various publications. She is married to Rick and they have a sweet cat named Minuet. I'm sure we all have those days that are better left unsaid. Sometimes we go through certain misfortunes, whether it's relationships or our job or families, you name it. But God allows everything to happen for our own good. He knows the beginning from the end, and He knows how it's all going to pan out. Trust me, God loves you. I hope you're blessed, you enjoy today's devotional, and I will see you again tomorrow.